When you save your render from Blender SEXR, you retain all the scene values and multiple render passes. But the save color space will be linear, so you lose anything you set up in the color management tab. If you put normal image in Natron, it will convert it from sRGB to linear, the output will convert it back to sRGB after the composition. Our EXR is already linear, but wasn't converted from sRGB. Use the OCIO color space node to trick the compositor and convert it from sRGB to linear yourself. Before that we have to pretend we are Blender and make the sRGB from the linear, but using Filmmake AGX or whatever. Connect OCIO look transform before the color space node. Filmmake is already in Natron, input should be linear, look whatever you are using in Blender and output Filmmake as RGB from display menu. If you are using something else like me, you have to provide the different config file for OCIO. For AGX, the settings are the same, input should be linear. If you see an error there, uh, just choose anything else and set it back to linear. Look again whatever you are using, probably punchy, and output AGX base from imagery menu. One more thing to solve is the exposure. Important note, the nice 32-bit values to modify live before the look transform node. Anything after is a standard 8-bit image. That means we have to edit the exposure before the look transform. Simply modify the image by some value. The multiplier is exactly 2 to the power of the exposure. In my case the exposure is 1.2, 2 to the power of 1.2 is 2.2974, so I will multiply it by that. Another note, if you are using fusion, there is no multiply or exposure node, use brightness contrast node. The gain option is exactly what you are looking for, uh, that's the multiply. Uh, put the 2 to the power of exposure there. This is it, nothing more, just to hammer the point home, let's try an example of combining tracked footage with overlay render. My output settings are AGX punchy with exposure of 1 and the EXR contain combined layer, ambient occlusion and shadow catcher. I will use shuffle to find the shadow catcher blur it by just one pixel and multiply it with the footage. Then I will shuffle for the combined pass and do the trick. Multiply it by 2 because my exposure was 1 and 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Look transform with AGX OCIO config, linear input, punchy look and AGX base output and conversion from sRGB to linear. Finally, shuffle for the ambient occlusion with the alpha of the combined pass, multiply the combined pass, blur it a bit again and merge it as overlay over the original footage. Done. Just remember, this is only a rudimentary setup without any actual composition, so start here and go wild. Before look transform you have all the values, after just a set 8-bit depth. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching and till the next time, happy blending!